读稿机挑战，我是 Sophia 老师。The Santa Barbara County Public Health Department is opening more COVID-19 vaccine appointments tomorrow. The county is expecting 3,800 doses of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine this week. Emergency services, agriculture, and food service workers are eligible to get the vaccine. Community members can book an appointment starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow on the health department website. Back to you, Megan. Live, and this one's a little tricky. Let's do it. Let's see how you do. A new hit single is climbing its way to the top of the charts. The song "Super Color Fragilistic Espiali Dosis" just hit 10 million plays on Spotify. If you can say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. "Super Color Fragilistic Espiali Dosis" originally debuted in the Sound of the Music film featuring Julie Andrews. It is now the top trending sound. Sophia 老师，第三次挑战哦。Now to the latest COVID-19 stories. Governor Gavin Newsom says the California Department of Public Health has administered 7.3 million vaccines. During his visit to a vaccine clinic in Los Angeles County today, Newsom says that the state is committed to getting more people of color vaccinated. According to the data from the state health department, of just 3% of Black people, 16% of Latino people. Let me know in the comments. You already know what time it is. Before we go tonight, if your favorite part of the day is a glass of wine after work, why not eliminate the work part? A winery in Sonoma is offering a really good job to someone with a passion for wine. The Murphy Good Winery is offering free rent and ten thousand dollars a month for the one-year position. If you don't know winemaking, no worries. It comes with on-the-job training and even thirty cases of wine. Applicants should send a video resume explaining why this would be their dream job. Learn more at murphygoodwinery.com. 主播挑战七。Welcome back! Roller coaster cars tick up, and Carnival music fills the air as Coney Island in Brooklyn reopens after being closed since 2019. Coney Island's two amusement parks, Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel amusement park, have made several changes to slow the spread of COVID-19. They installed multiple hand sanitizer stations, posted social distancing signs, and even implemented a new electronic pass for tickets. Both parks. 主播挑战六。Teachers took the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song and made a COVID-19 safety remix. Sixth grade teacher Mr. Bresca is the mastermind behind the lyrics and MC Productions' help with the video. Staff members want to pump up the students and families for long-awaited return to school. This is the first week students will be back in their classroom for them personal learning since last March. Prompter test, sports edition with me, Dusty Baker. Let's go. Sophia 老师挑战体育主播。The Los Angeles Dodgers struggling at the plate, heading into their series finale with Milwaukee Brewers on Sunday afternoon. LA entering the month of May by losing their man Dustin May to an arm injury. The offense has looked lost. Something's got to give. We go to the top of the first. One O Dodgers. AJ Pollock at the plate with the bases. Shoots the pitch right down the pipe, and he drives it to the right center field. Get up, get out, ball. A grand slam for Pollock. He would have ARBIs on the day. Dodgers throttle the Brewers 16 to four and salvage the finale with their four-game series. I'm right, teacher I Sophia. Let us know in the comments. Sophia 老师挑战主播八。If you love to take a daily nap, this could be your dream job. A company called EachNight.com, which offers tips about sleep, health, and mattress reviews, is hiring a team of five nap reviewers. It's possible to start right away, but you have to be willing to take a nap every day for 30 straight days and then write about the experience. EachNight is trying to test out the theories about pros and cons about taking daily naps. The pay is 50 bucks per nap or $1,500 over the month-long period. Applicants have to be over the age of 18 and must apply by May 31st. So if you are eager to be paid For your snoozing skills, go to each nice website to. A proper test that gets faster and faster. Let's do it. Headlines in three, two, one. Go. Let's 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 go. She was rolling the prompter. I'm Sophia. Teacher, I heard this is the hardest challenge. Let's try it. 
Law enforcement seized over a dozen firearms and over 3,000 rounds of ammunition during a routine traffic stop. On Friday evening, a DPS trooper tried to conduct a stop on a gray Honda that was traveling west on US 83 near La Jolla. The driver refused and it led to a vehicle pursuit where the driver was taken into custody. The trooper searched the car and found 16 firearms and 3,520 rounds of ammo. The firearms included high, fully powered automatic rifles, handguns, and 50 caliber rifle. Authority believed that the weapons were destined for Mexico.